there. Welcome. So, this is my very first anomaly run, and, well, it is all random. I mean entirely random. I literally just clicked a random site on the world, and I didn't waste a, a, single, a, a single glance at these people. I have no clue who these people are, and I think this is the best way to start a new stream. So we can explore all the goodness together without me spoiling the fun, and uh, let's enjoy this. This is also going to be the beginning of a new gameplay series, which will be streamed, because this allows me to make longer sessions, and yeah, that is for games like RimWorld, I think, ideal. Also, almost no mods, except for two. Replace stuff, because I hate the old the, the OG replacement uh, system, and Achtung, because I, I just love to be able to force my people to, to do stuff. That's it. So, I also stream on YouTube and Twitch simultaneously. I take requests for naming pawns, Go for it. I do this as fast as uh, as long as they last. So let's have some fun together. There are also no Twitch integrations or anything like that because I want to keep it to the story, which is we crash landed because we were interacting with this. Hey Ash, welcome. So I'll, I'll get I'll give you the doctor. All right. So. Uh, any wish, any name wishes? Let me know, all right? We got this fine guy. He's a slowpoke, move speed minus, an artist, a doctor, social guy, and melee fighter. Gentry. Shooting, jogger, super remove. Okay, that is a real power unit. Cooking, plants, and social. Okay. And or ghoul, which sucks at fighting. <laughs> awesome. Brilliant. Just ash. Wonderful. I assumed as much, but I thought I have to ask. So, we got construction zero, construction two, so our, <laughs> our early game will suck. We got an emu. Dromedary couple and, uh, and not really a couple, there's just females and an iguana. Our starting gear a pump shotgun, a knife, a holding platform. <laughs> I already know that we need these to, to research things. I see these guys dying horribly. So, turret pack a wearable pack that allows the user to deploy a battery powered turret. The pack contains a propulsion device, letting the user launch the turret a short distance. These turrets are effective for flanking and distracting enemies. However, the turret's limited AI can't be directly controlled, so it can cause friendly fire incidents. The turret battery lasts for several hours. Charges remaining, one of one. Hmm. I wonder if I can refill that, but if, I'll need some sort of a station. Hey, Alexander, welcome. And Unbound Rare and Disco Geek, I welcome thee. So, alright, I think this is a single time item. Alright. Tony on Martial Arts. Malay plus XP. Not bad. I wish my ghoul could read that. Azak's approach to ingredients. Cooking XP, alright. So, well, I would have preferred construction XP, but whatever. We have two of these construction uh, of these turret packs. Proximity Detector, a scanner capable of detecting invisible creatures. The device raises an alarm, and when it detects the presence of psychically invisible biosignatures within its radius. So, luckily, it requires only 75 watt, so the, the lowest amount of power supply will be good. Creamy Undeath. That sounds not good. 
In these well-organized chronicles, a foolish researcher goes into detail about a remote archaeological dig where the researchers went violently insane one by one. One chapter describes theory wherein a distant hyper-intelligence can psychically manipulate human cognition, reshaping a person's thoughts to align with its own mind patterns. The book is missing some pages. <laughs> God. <laughs> that's, that's quite straight in your face. Here, have a book to go mad with. Wonderful. Uh, go insane with, I should rather call it. We also have a legendary quality fur jacket. I think this is a fluke, but... <clears throat> ah, I see, Alex. All right, gotcha. So... Okay, that's my starting gear, is it? So, what's that thing? A shard, a scavenged fragment of dark arco technology originally created by a hyper-intelligent architect mind. The shard is packed with technology beyond human comprehension and is capable of manipulating psychic flows, inducing architect influences and more esoteric outcomes. While it is useless by itself, it can be built into devices that harness its power to produce exotic effects. So I assume that this is some sort of a construction currency for the new content. Okay, so we don't have anything in the anomaly category to build. Good. Or so. Biophorite. Ferrite. Is it ferrite or? Yeah, I think it's ferrite. An exotic metal like fibrous substance with both organic and metallic properties. Bioferrite is produced by microscopic mechanites as they process organic material. In cases of disordered mechanite behavior, this happens in a chaotic, cancer-like way. Oh, that's, uh, <laughs> that sounds very, very... <sighs> Nothing to worry about here. The material is known to interact with some types of psychic flows. If pressurized under specific conditions, bioferrite becomes extremely flammable, making it a useful fuel. So, it is pretty decent to use as a sword material, obviously. Sounds like it behaves. So, whoa. Okay, let's not ask further questions for now. <laughs> Zareen, welcome. Welcome back, y'all. So, I also think it's quite fun to see that there's nothing to be seen here. Nothing to be seen, nothing to worry about. Okay, so let's take a look at our environments. Like I said, I went entirely random. Just clicked to a couple of red buttons, so starting position sucks, obviously. I mean, I'm quite happy that I went down in the mountains, but let's see that tile. Well, we have it year, at least year-round growing period, so agriculture can get us through. Special feature, caves. <laughs> no. So, where are the bugs? Show me where the bugs are. But they didn't show up here, so I think I went lucky this time. Yeah, so I can't remember when I had the last time a cave spawn without insectoids, but uh, okay, <laughs> I take it. Hey, cool. Hi there. No problem. It is available afterwards, after all. So we have a pretty decent building here that we could repurpose. Wood-wise, there's uh, plenty of sequaro. I think we're gonna work with that and build or stuff around the ruins here. The only thing I didn't uh, look at was the fallen monolith. So, a monolith of unknown age, purpose, and construction. Its smooth surface is etched with lines that twist and writhe in unsettling patterns. Okay. I also don't have ideology uh, activated for, for this run because uh, I, I wanted to focus on the anomaly content because I don't think they will survive that long anyways. <laughs> so.
So, okay. We need to remove the wall to be able to interact with the monolith. But the place where this thing went down, well, sort of sucks because it, uh, well, we're going to build our base camp around that. So let's get started. Is anybody capable of doing plant work without uh, being an absolute moron about it? Well, Gentry can do, and Ash can haul. We have our killer ghoul to defend us, I guess. I mean, the problem about these is that they grow aggressive if they don't get raw meat to eat. So <laughs> this is basically a ticking time bomb. Hmm. Wonderful. So. so ghouls are pretty interesting as they have no pain, almost no temperature issues at all, and they regenerate almost all their wounds in one day or less than that. So it's quite an interesting feature to, to work with, I'd say. So, well, how much wood do we have available for us here? 280. Not much, but let's uh, build the horror shack. The difficulty, by the way, I didn't mention that in the intro, is strive to survive. I, I didn't want to go too uh, crazy in that regard, because I think we will have already... Uh, more than enough on our plate there. So, Gentry, you are the man. You're gonna be constructing and deconstructing because that steely is in my way. So, we're going to live inside there, I think. And I have to build some place where we can store stuff. So, not fertility, but terrain affordance so yeah just like i thought here we have soft sand this makes an excellent uh, storage stockpile at least for starters this is at least environment that we are not going to be able to use for anything except for storing stuff on top of it i'd say well <laughs> I can't name the ghoul after you, but it's a, it's a lady, not a, not a sir, so. I don't want to be a ghoul IRL. I, I think I would be grossed out by my diet. I'm a, I'm a sissy when it comes down to these things, and I, I admit it. If I would be needing to kill my own food, I, I think I, I would be vegetarian by now. So, let's claim things. This is mine. Except for these bits of bobs, we're going to remove them. So, sir, deconstruct that. Mr. Catbug, I appreciate your kind words. So, Deconstructing that thing takes a while, especially if you suck as hard as uh, gentry in, deconstru in construction in general. But good thing is it, it gives him abilities. So I also think after deconstructing that thing, I'm going to give him an... Oh, it has, it has eaten. Um, I'm going to give him that uh, shotgun. And Ash can take that, uh, take that knife. So yeah, we have quite the, the building projects at hand, but, uh, well, do what we gotta do, right? I'm very concerned about all the things that I've seen in the, in the, in the preview about, uh, Anomaly. I am scared shitless. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I got a freaking ghoul as a companion. This is uh, summarizing 
pretty much how, how comfortable I feel about all this. One of my bodyguards is a ghoul that can't even fight, so it's going to be a meat dummy most of the time. Hell yeah. Alright, meanwhile Gentry is putting up that stuff, and I'd say a good opportunity to put up the stockpile zone. At least to store things, so they're not decomposing in the rain any longer. Perfect. Which reminds me that we got to rescue. Is that a new thing? I can't remember that I have seen that ever. So let's keep these like that for now. Doc study. <laughs> now that's the new type of research I like to see. <laughs> Well, as soon as we have set up a base camp, obviously we're going to study the secrets of the monolith, but, uh, well, not for now. So... Dude, where's the timber? Damn it. So, there's almost no saguaro grown here anymore. There's a few. Hey, what I think we should do... We got 63 marble blocks. Mm. Well, nah. Let's chop some trees. There's a couple of them more. This is, I think, the fastest way of procuring materials for now. We can't think about stone walls later. Enable self-tend. Yeah, well, I usually um, micromanage every injury, so I only have self-tend on if, if they have to. Because usually I try to give the people that suck at medical work an opportunity to train whenever I can. It's a personal regimen of mine, and it's an obsession of mine. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I won't be activating self tent there. No, no, don't you worry. You, you're in, you're in good hands here. I promise. Whenever there's an injury, I, I pay close attention to these things because I hate how the RimWorld AI handles these things. So. The biggest task for now is that we read Tony on martial arts. Come on, dude. We need to bring up a roof on these things, but, uh, well. Stuff doesn't decompose in a day, although it makes me really weary to see our good items decompose like that, especially the legendary fur jacket. Come on, can't somebody wear that? So, lab coats. No, actually not. They, uh... You're better off without it. It's like uh, wearing a heavy fur coat in the desert. It's just not what you want to do. <laughs> yeah, gosh. <laughs> it's uh, it's the uh, sci space sci-fi uh, cultivation simulator. So, well... At least he gained some melee knowledge out of that. I love the new books, by the way. They are an amazing addition to the vanilla game. So, now he did put on the jacket, proving my former statements to be foolish and not true. Maybe you want to wear a heavy fur jacket in the rain. Heavy fur, that is, uh, I think, Mega Sloth and the like, so it's a badass jacket. Yes. For brave researchers, I think they will have to sleep one night in the rain, though. I see no other option. Can't wait to see the first weird stuff happening. But I hope I get enough time to set up shop here. <laughs> oh, the components in the rain. Makes me flinch inside. I hate it. I hate it. You guys have to build that. He hates something too. So, observed rotting corpse. Wait a sec. 
There's no rotting corpse lying underground except for this one. What are you talking about? So, day one of our expedition. We haven't interacted with the monolith yet, but we surely will. I also gained a couple of stone blocks. Let's see where we're going to use them later. Steel columns, lucky me. These surely will find uh, some use when we deconstruct them. So, let's issue some important jobs. Obviously, our ghoul doesn't need to sleep either. Oh man, this thing makes me so freaking nervous. I mean, I, I would lock it in somewhere if... Uh, Ah, well, let's build some steel beds. I'm okay with that. Usually I hate it when, people, when, when they do that at home. But, uh... In this specific case, it's a poor one at least, I feel like we're, uh, we're, we're doing ourselves a favor here. So, I'm going to micromanage the uh, acquisition of more wood now. Because he's the plants dude and the construction dude. So. There we go. Let's uh, do some chain prioritizations. Holding down left shift while doing the right clicky business. Sending him in unnecessary, uncomfortable loops will make him stay longer in the rain than necessary. That's how you play Rimworld. Jokes aside, this gives us a nice uh, stockpile of wood that hopefully will bring us uh, enough material to get the, the warehouse done. Because it's, it's really important. We need a roof on top of this and yeah. That timber will get us there. Finally, the rain has stopped. So, Ash's busy hauling things into the uh, storage area to be, which is also an absolutely uh, important task. But I think I will ask gentry to haul wood in a more focused manner there we go those 44 locks can um, build much more and more focused and as much as the steel might be important now i think we're going to haul the timber here a little bit of micromanagement here and there doesn't hurt at all Seems as if we're uh, unable to. Come on, you fools! I hate it when they do that. This is how 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 vanilla room world works like. But well, I had it on my to do list to play it, uh, to play it vanilla. You know, I meant to do that. In future runs, I will also enable ideology. But I, I didn't want to um, overburden my, my sensory complex. Alright, so we're going to make it like that. So Gentry will be first and foremost doing the plant work and then the construction work. Hopefully that'll work too. Oh, I think I have planned that, that warehouse way too big. So. I did underestimate how low the yields of these trees are. That's on me, I guess. But I think we will make it before decay sets in. It's 
speaking about decay setting in. Well, what about our ghoul? Kind of like hope that we're going to see a raider soon. Ah, that's the that's the corpse they were complaining about. Now I see it. This whole place looks like the scenery of a horror movie. Not gonna lie. I think I did well. Ancient mech. Yeah, we could work with that too. We will slaughter some uh, wild animals soon. To uh, get ourselves some food together. Twisted meat has rotted away. Don't like to hear that because that means I don't have anything left for my ghoul. Oh, those uh, saguaros are miles away in between. This is a difficult start that I picked up here or that the RNG has picked up for me. But I am positive that we are finally at a spot where we can finish the the warehouse. I mean, it's also problematic that Gentry is absolutely wasteful wherever he's working at because he's a lousy constructor. <coughs> Sorry. So, but uh, as far as I see things, we finally are putting a roof on top of things, so. Oof. Seeing my medicine decay like that is uh, just putting me on a very, very uncomfortable strain. Okay, so that thing has been dealt with. Ash is still busy hauling the steel into the warehouse, which is uh, not necessarily uh, a, something that we would need to do. Steel doesn't decay, so we could actually uh, ignore that, but uh, well. So, yeah. How's life? Let's zoom out and double click the timber. Did we use up all the timber that we uh, that we uh, collected? I don't know. I would I, I would highly doubt that. But uh, yeah, we we pretty much spent our entire budget here. There is not that much more. There are a few more saguaro that we can't chop though. But they are a pesky piece of work. So I'm going to mute my microphone for a short moment to get that. Because I don't think that it's in any way a pleasant noise that anybody would uh, like to listen to. So, the visitors are leaving. I mean, I had no intent to interact with them either way. So, yeah. Fallen monolith. A wave of dread passed over your colonists. The fallen monolith has begun to stir. Slowly, it begins to twist and rearrange itself, morphing into something new. Within a matter of days, the process will be complete. Be prepared for whatever comes next. <laughs> okay. I, uh... <laughs> I'm screwed. <laughs> Maybe there will be only one episode of this whole thing. Probably. Who knows? Not me. So, the next step on, on our to-do list should be to get those uh, basic buildings done. So, where the hell is the timber? I did chop more, didn't I? So, tell you what we're going to do. There's a hot fix to that situation, and that's called a steel door. Because seriously, I I got enough steel 
we can dig out more of it and that speeds up things i i will consider that as an option for future runs because steel is always easy to mine out if you have mining but i mean it is kind of hardcore to uh just roll with whatever you go and expect to survive. I don't know if I'm going to survive. I'll do my best, okay. Gentry is uh, slowly getting into the uh, construction business. I mean, this is really bad that his construction is so low means that he's not able to get us electricity going. So, let's investigate ash come on investigate it i hope you're down with that so i have no clue what to do but uh you know the monolith's dark metallic surface is warm to the touch and ash thinks he can hear a faint hum emanating from inside the lines on its dusty surface seem to squirm in unsettling patterns. Ash focuses on the shapes, trying to uncover their meaning. The hum strengthens, the shapes begin to flow in Ash's vision, but the surface isn't changing. Power begins to uncoil in the empty space all around. A black shape is forming in his mind. The anomaly is stirring. We definitely want to keep focusing on that, and I got no clue that what that will do. But I'd say we all we all want to know. Whoa! As the monolith twisted and changed, Ash was overcome with a horrifying vision. In an instant, he understood the monolith is a doorway, just barely cracked open now. Something dark beyond imagination stirs on the other side, seeping into our reality. Terrified but excited, Ash is convinced he can learn more if given the time to study the monolith. So, we have a new building category. We have a research tab, and we have the entity codex unlocked. <laughs> Ah, beautiful, beautiful. So, you activated the monolith. Current monolith level 1. It is a conduit for psychic energy just barely cracked open now. A mind in of incomprehensible horror stirs on the other side and is now touching a world. The monolith seems to be partly active and there seems to be no way to shut it down. To learn more, you must activate it further. Oh, look, the shifting, shifty thing is, uh, is gone. Okay, which will require some special research. Grey paw. So, I wonder if there is a certain randomness to this. I would assume it. It feels a little bit like that. So, if anybody knows, feel free to let me know. So, Void Monolith. Level 1. Intermittent Psychic Humming. Required to increase level, must discover six more basic monolith entities. Knowledge Category Basic. Ready to study. I also got spooky music. So... Void Provocation. Build a Psychic Ritual Spot and perform Psychic Rituals. Use the Void Provocation Ritual to discover new entities. Biofairite ha Harvesting. Entity Containment. Okay, well... Welcome to our little nightmare. So, it ripped a bit of the wall away, but uh, no probs, we're going to replace that. So, it's all your fault, Ash, you've you done it. I forced you to do it. But uh, I, I, I feel like it is a very, very smart thing to stop that, or you, you want to wait until it reforms, I got no clue. Harbinger tree. 
will consume corpses and meat placed nearby. <laughs> I feel slightly disconcerted. This page lists all known entities which are related to the Dark Void. Discover new entities using the Void Provocation Psychic Ritual. Discovering new entities reveals new research projects and allows you to advance the Void Monolith. Okay. So, what a lovely boy. A gnarled tree that grows like a, that grows a flesh-like covering. Harbinger trees are capable of feeding on corpses and raw meat and will consume those placed nearby. If well fed, the grove will continue to grow. In a tribal myth, these trees are the emissaries of a mad, shapeless god who rules an endless black ocean. The myth ends after the shapeless god reaches up from the water and tears down the sky. Mm, lovely. There's nothing wrong about that, isn't it? Okay. Hi there. This is, uh... This is everything I wished Rimworld of Madness ever to be. I'm, I'm very, very positively pleased, gotta say. So, well... There is one big downside here. We... don't have access to lighting in any easy way until Gentry has learned construction better. That is, uh, well... Alright. Damn. So, I really wonder um, if there are different uh, scenarios you see it's something that really uh, that I'm really wondering about anyways let's do something so a fueled stove is the only thing that we can set up which is uh, not too cool because I I need to invest timber which is starting to, to, to be a, a, a important strategic resource here but we are also going to call out a few potato zones. The music has uh, transformed into a John Carpenter movie all of a sudden. Damn, this is uh, very, very atmospheric. <laughs> so, what's Ash up to? Holding more steel. So, we got money in the mountain. Friends. So holding platforms needed. How are you supposed to do that that easily? A mad iguana! So, yeah, this is the perfect opportunity to test out the fighting power of an unskilled... Of an unskilled... Uh, ghoul. I mean, officially, my ghoul wants to have some something to eat anyway, so... Let's have it. Let's, let's lead, let it feast. Nah, you guys keep moving. I want to know how well the ghoul can fight for itself. So yeah, the uh, melee zero does really show. I mean, what I want to know is, does the ghoul learn? Yes, the ghoul has capabilities to learn, so I'll let them deuce it out. So yeah, my, my pet ghoul has a munch. Urgently hungry. I don't like to read that. Yeah, Ash, I, I, I agree with you on that. I I would feel more comfy with that as well. I love that the start gets you that cool. <laughs> it's so freaking... 
unsettling. What do we got? A holding unit, so we should do that. For science? Yes, yes. Has nothing to do with that music or so. So, let's see. I mean, we ain't got no electricity whatsoever. I think this will be a problem with all my ideas here, but uh, whatever. I mean, that scary thing is now healing, right? So, well... Our ghoul can treat for itself, but... How are we going to treat for ourselves? Or care for ourselves? Steel is uh, literally everywhere, as it seems. So I'll take that into account next time. I should have read the uh, intro a little bit more, or the, in the, the, the beginning uh, loot list a bit more thoroughly. Because we are at the brink of a uh, hunger issue. Okay. So, well, we planted out a couple of potatoes at day five. There are no agaves or anything that we could uh, that we could pill through here. So, well, it's only the dromedaries and the emu. I mean, I think. I am somewhat confident that the emu would kill the ghoul, but then we'd still have to take care of the ghoul somehow. That uh, doesn't resolve that issue, you see. But for starters now, let's... Uh, get up some basics here. And I really think I will work with uh, as much of the steel as I can. Oh yeah, good job, Gentry. He wasted some materials and he... Oh, well. Wait, failing always means to waste materials, never mind me. Hi there, man, that sounds like a uh, shouting uh, noise. Great to see you. <laughs> It, 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 you, your name reminds me of the uh, of the Spartan uh, the Spartans of three hundred. They were uh, bouncing on their shields. They made that shouty noise that that reminds me. Entity corpses. Ugh. All right, but uh, we are now able to butcher things, and we're planting out potatoes. <laughs> it's my, yeah, man, I, I expect it. I, I feel like I... I mean, we have... Where are they? The These dudes here already. I feel already not cool about them, but they are pretty harmless. But, uh, well... This is madness, yeah. This man understands where I'm coming from, but uh, um, is this, uh, by the way, always random? Uh, what kind of effect you pull when you study the uh, the monolith? Uh, did I understand that correctly? It's my first run, and I'd like to know. So feel free to spoil me in that regard. So, well, my faction, the first researchers. So, I'll call that place Alpha 1. 
I sure hope these these trees stay harmless. I highly doubt it. <laughs> I could feed them with corpses. And supposedly they grow into a grove that eats corpses. Nothing to worry here at all. So why is it 2 a.m. and it's dark? It's this grape hall. Yeah. Nothing to worry here about uh, about at all. So tell you what, we're we're going to we're going to acquire some dromedary before it uh, gets eaten by somebody else. So, Gentry, show me what you've got. I mean, it doesn't require much skill to shoot a dromedary with a pump action shotgun in the face. Unless you're doing it in room world, then you're uh, shooting it five, uh, six times, and uh, it still doesn't die. Then you send the ghoul to melee attack it to death, and uh, well, wildcats are controlling our uh, our our turf. At least we got a decent shooter on Gentry. So, is he assigned to hunt? Wonderful. And the new soundtrack also is really cool. Here, have a bite. So, oh yeah, dang it, we uh, haven't configured this to store corpses. The new soundtrack is really cool. Well, if the ghoul pawn wouldn't be uh, looking like that, I went in all random, so that's what you get. <laughs> so yeah, we're not going to uh, attack the wildcats. Uh-uh. Got a real bad feeling about that. So I'm gonna forbid one of the corpses and let's see. At least we got a decent cook. Sight Stealer revealed. You are 235 years old. Emaciated and mis... Mis... Misshapen or mis... Ha How is that pronounced? Oh, well. I need to look it up. You know what I want to say. Humanoids. Their arms end in sharp, curled claws formed from biofuride. Sight stealers are fragile, but use psychic influence to render themselves invisible until they get close to their victims. They are known to emit haunting screams as they gather on their terrible hunts. So, luckily Gentry has a freaking shotgun, and Ash is just around the corner. Our ghoul was uh, watching the night sky, I suppose? Bear scene, hey there. And yes, the DLC has been released today. In the face, man. Gentry is actually an action movie hero, okay? Or a horror movie hero. He, he just has proven it to me. I mean, this guy is a machine. You wouldn't be believing that he is only shooting four. Okay. So, we can't capture it because we ain't got no holding platform. Do holding platforms require energy? I ain't got no clue, but we sure as hell want to try out now. I mean, that thing is dying, isn't it? It ain't. Oh god. I'm greedy. Mm. 
so new research available proximity detector. Well, I mean, we would be needing to complete the entire casing around that. This is, uh, this is dumb. So, Mr. Ghoul Ghoul, or uh, Lady Ghoul Ghoul, you're allowed to eat it. I mean, I'm pretty sure it will be not the last of its kind. And I have a really, really bad feeling about... Uh, oh, wait a sec. Don't need to have a bite right now, so... Let's do it like that. So, let's cook up some simple meals until we got eight of them. Okay, let's switch the uh, priorities again. This is enough potatoes for now. Alright, I mean, at least we didn't uh, die so far. I think I should consider myself very lucky, but, well... I, my, my big goal is to make it as far to get into episode 2 of all this. I'm not sure if I will make it though. But one of my favorite things in RimWorld is to just uh, go for an all-out insanity like that. So the Great Paul has uh, gone. So... I would assume that this is something good. So we found the Sight Stealer. This one will be spoiling in two days. Alright. So now I wonder, does the ghoul also eat rotten corpses? I mean, I would assume they do. But, uh, well, assuming is not knowing. So, we're munching on our first self-cooked rations. This is always a good feeling. Ash is by now starting to clean out rock rubble. That is never a good sign. So, that means they are at the end of their... Um, of their duties. So, well... What to do next? What to do next? I mean, we definitely need more timber, be it only for lighting purposes. But I don't want to let Ash do that. Because his plant's skill is uh, nigh non existent, and uh, therefore, we're going to invest his skill later into art. But. Uh, I really gotta say, this is, uh, I've not been exactly kissed by RNGesus, let's put it down like that. Disco Geek, I said duties? Um, can't quite follow, I think I hooked too much uh, other things in between. Would you, uh, help me out, would you refer to? I somehow don't get it. <laughs> So, we gathered fuel for our stove, but, uh... I think we are totally okay with four simple meals now that I think more closely about it. So, well, oh boy, I hate it so much. The low levels of construction are so brutal. <laughs> I 
I get it now. <laughs> I didn't even notice in the first place, but now that I that that, that I see it, I can't unsee it. Alright, so Gentry will now repair the house, which is, in all honesty, one of the best ways to get free construction XP. Ash, what are you doing? You are studying the monolith. I didn't uh, really put him onto a high duty with uh, that, but uh, maybe there was nothing to clean anymore, so I might as well go study the dark monolith, I mean. Wouldn't I certainly would it? So let's see, these aren't fully grown yet, but uh, whatever. I need timber to, to work with. Raid the gas slickers. The gas slickers come around with a gun, man. Uncool. Uncool. Jeez. What the hell? But luckily they uh, they are not the ones to uh, go in quickly. That would have been really, really uh, annoying. Now. So we can't ambush Logi? Is that really your name? Logi the bodyguard? Jeez. Logi the bodyguard is also an absolute machine skill-wise, but luckily he's a genie, so... He's a delicate wimp. As all of them are. But at least Psycho can uh, feast. Alright. Bringing in some timber for the stove. I mean, this is the real, real annoy annoying part about all this. So, I really would like to know what this is, uh, it goes via research, okay. This is really awesome because this uh, gives me the impression of that lone crazy guy that has no intellectual ambitions until he crash lands down there. So basic 0.4, whatever that did. So we're now going to draft our dudes and uh, attack Logi before Logi attacks us. It's always a good choice to go into initiative. I think this will be a pretty good position for us. So, for some odd reason, my ghoul... This now this, uh, doesn't group up with the other people, as it seems. Well, I haven't looked up any mods whatsoever as of yet. Because I figured I want to play Anomaly Clean Vanilla here, yeah. You can't uh, move the ghoul together with the other pawns. That's a little bit sad, but whatever. Come on, Logi. Nothing bad will happen, Logi. Just a hungry ghoul waiting outside for you there, Loki. Jeez, this, uh, this dude is way too smart for uh, for us. All right, here we go. So here the major trick is that you put the uh, dude with the shotgun right next to the melee dude, so friendly fire can occur. So psycho, you um. You enjoy you. Oh, that's that's morbid. Imagine pick, packing out the uh, the mobile uh, lunches while the ghoul is uh, doing his thing with the uh, fleeing genie. I 
mean, Psycho doesn't really learn melee from that, but uh, you're allowed to eat Logie. So let's move Psycho back home. I mean, it is darned useful to have a uh, nigh unkillable tank like that. That'll just regenerate all um, abuse, physical abuse whatsoever. Yeah, Dub's Hygiene is an amazing one. My wife li loves that one too. She, uh, she thinks very similarly about that like you do. So, let's see. Can I let Psycho consume dromedary meat? Yes, I can. So any type of meat is uh, is good for the ghoul. What's good for the ghoul is good for you. Maybe. Most likely. Okay, but uh, we are at a somewhat stable point here. So let's think about expansion. Well, Gentry's construction skill is uh, really negligible. We still need more timber. That's a uh, very, very urgent thing. Not so much for construction's sake, but for light and fuel for its stove and uh, yeah. Shucks. That we don't have any researcher either. So, yeah. We could really use a man in black. Yeah, well. I have my personal quality of life list uh, room world wise as well. But, uh, yeah. I figured I wanted to try the. Anomaly release and all, and version 1.5 as uh, unmodded as possible. But it is, uh, for example, replace stuff. I can't play without replace stuff. Because it's just uh, a nightmare to play without. And I think most people would agree with me. So, well... That is very, very disconcerting. But at least we got banged up walls for Gentry to study construction at. But uh, apart from that, this is a pretty much as good as it gets. So... The dromedary will spawn, uh, will spoil soon. Let's feed Psycho. She can have some sight stealer. Yup. And uh, I'll be, yeah, I'll be butchering that dromedary. I hope in time. Those little operations they help so much. But I, I really don't want to interrupt uh, Gentry's learning process and constructing. Because we're, uh, we, we really do rely on that a lot. Because until I manage to build something with electricity, I'm really deep in trouble. We got all the tech for that available, but, uh, well, all the tech is worthless without somebody to build it. And before you know it, you're watching the uh, corpses in your warehouse rot, and you're uh, spoon-feeding your ghoul. Another day on the rim. So, what we definitely should do here, I just realized, is uh, we're going to set up a table. 
and some spools here. So we don't have to commit war crimes anymore and eat without tables and stools. There we go. Much better. Poor quality, but at least you can now sit like a human being on the stool while you're, st while you're staring at the wooden wall and contemplating what decisions in your life have made you end up here. So, yeah, I mean, at least I do have sort of a perspective to strive towards, too. On the other hand, I really got to say, the lack of fuel at hand is really disturbing me. Speaking about which, the dromedary has to be butchered. And by magical ways and means... The dromedary meat is good for another two days. How? Don't know. Don't wanna know. Don't wanna know. Don't care. It's okay. Alrighty, so, well. Day nine is dawning. After eight days, we have at least the containment cell ready. And. We have a roof on over our heads and, well, Gentry is still studying how to, how to construct things. Well, could be better, could be worse. So, just decided to go for a research table now. We got so much steel at our hands. Let's see what we will be able to do out of that. I love that they are providing uh, materials nowadays to the uh, construction sites. This is a relatively newish behavior. I don't know if it is uh, but triggered by Achtung or if it is a natural behavior, but whatever. Wakey wakey gentry. And we're obviously going to construct a stool here as well. And Ash is uh, definitely going to be our research dude. After all, he was the one touching the monolith, so. All right, the sight stealer is rotting and uh, Psycho can't eat it anymore. Okay. That question has been answered now as well. So, there we go. And here, we are not allowing rotten things that we can't haul it out of here. Because that uh, corpse rot stuff is nothing to trifle with. You don't want to have that on your lungs. See? Nobody is suffering from any medical conditions yet. So, research time! What are we going to research? We already have batteries. Damn it, it would be so easy to get it get our foot into the door. We're going to research tree sowing. For now, until I know something better to do with my research capacities. Meanwhile, he's reading the creamy on death. Sure, why not? I mean, enjoy yourself. Read about Things that give you a mental break chance and uh, increase void provocation. Sure. Surely nothing bad will happen out of that. 
All right, but for now we're uh, we're going to let Gentry do his thing and slow poke learn construction. I mean, the entire crisis here will be lingering for quite some time because yeah, you can't build a wood fire generator with construction four. Oh, you can't build the wind turbine with construction four. Oh, I'm relieved. I thought it was uh, construction five. So that is a re that that is the first piece of uh, really good news for us, because that means we will be eventually uh, getting along here. I don't know. We have to obviously live off of an ostrich and an emu. Don't know how we're going to tackle these beasts, but well one problem at a time. I'm also going to refresh my uh, my teacup and take a short break. Be right back. So, I'll turn on the camera in a second, but for now, let's continue. A slaver has arrived. Should that make me un feel unsettled? I don't know. Let's learn Void Provocation. We obviously are learning that out of the book already. I have no clue. So, well, first question that uh, 
I'm asking myself is, can I sell the ghoul to the slavers? But I don't think that I would uh, that I would want to. I'm growing. He's growing on me. She's growing on me. My little psycho girl, and she is also quite useful, especially due to the uh, innate sturdiness, and due to the fact that you can feed them just with raw meat. It ain't that much of a big deal. But I want to know, for well, science. So no, they wouldn't buy my uh, weird biomechanic creature. So, well... Fog. Why is Fog so cheap? Because he's a waster. Wasters have a psychic dependency and uh, yeah, they... They just die if you don't feed them. Luciferium Juggernaut Serum. Metal blood serum. Okay. What is this? So, damage resistance at the cost of fire vulnerability. Crazy. Well, It's fine, I guess. We're, uh, we weren't supposed to buy ourselves slaves anyways, so I don't mind at all. So, yeah, not much happening these days, but, uh, well, considering that once we are done with grinding for Construction 4, I can finally set up electricity and everything. I feel like we're on a good way. I just realized though that I really feel like I need to stock up on my on my timber stockpiles. Ash is learning the intellectual ways. Intellectual work, funny enough, you don't need any passion for that. Ultimately, you will become a genius. You just need to be the main researcher of a colony. End of the story. Okay, so Gentry is now done with all the repair work. Because you can see he's now going back to his plant work. So, yeah, I, I will let him for now. Because that means he'll also eventually cut some trees. So that potato harvest will come in handy once it's uh, ready. Which will probably take a while. Alma Naster, hi there. Happy to see you. So, there we go. <laughs> so, how long does that meat last? Ten hours. Ugh. After that... It's a package survival meal soon, which is no good news. Hmm, we could do something crazy. Where's that emu? Hmm, too far away. Ah, never mind. There's dromedary. We don't need the dangerous game. So, well. Ghouls are not picking up rotting corpses. Feeling a little bit disappointed with my ghoul, but whatever. Ancient danger. Ah, oh, yeah, all right. So, 
sending up my ghoul against another iguana, I really hope the ghoul does not uh, lose against the iguana, does have two purposes. For one, it does train the combat skill of my ghoul. And the other thing is that we do gain some. So our ghoul will now manually hunt some iguana for us. Because why not? Another hoppinger tree sprout. Yay! Yes, spreading. Wonderful. I mean, eventually I might even consider sacrificing corpses at that thing, but uh, not today. Not today. So, that meat spoiling in five hours, so let's uh, consume it while we can. By the way, where did that uh, little guy go? Seriously, where 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 is the uh, iguana corpse? Ah, I see. Yeah, right. That obviously makes sense. So no, we're. Uh, we're good here. We're uh, we're going to let it lie there. It will be rotting before it deteriorates away. So it's it's fine. The potato people left me glitter world mids. Quite some decent slavers. Yeah, we we weren't able to process the uh, dromedary meat in time. What ifs? Iguana hunt time. I mean, I got to get her uh, useful eventually. And that is, uh, for me, one pretty decent way of getting the job done. You know? So, yeah. Getting used to your life with the ghoul. And before you know it, your player has a misclick and you consume some go uh, some corpses as well. Alright, I don't think that Psycho would win against the Dromedaries in melee as of yet. I mean, we could try, but I don't really have a good feeling with that. Damn, the vanilla hauling is a nightmare. And we got bright on the storm on us. So Gentry is butchering the iguana. I don't mind. Since we can't eat the raw meat on the ghoul as well, it all works out fine one way or another. We don't have simple meals though anymore. So, well, it's early in the morning. Show me where the dromedaries live at. So, I hope I won't be regretting what I'm doing here. Realized that leaving my base undefended during a dry thunderstorm might be foolish, so I'll be sending Ash back home. If lightning strikes one of my buildings, I'll be really, really uh, sad. So, yeah, that man is a machine. He also lo happens to love shooting, so... It really shows. It also really shows that a pump shotgun doesn't require much skill to be extremely accurate on short range. So, yeah, I'll leave Gentry to... Let that one dromedary live. Because that does uh, do one thing. 
we can hunt it later. So we have a little bit of a buffer here until the potatoes are grown. So wait a sec, my foolish young friend. Ah, well, it is... Uh, it is A-OK. -okay. We don't have enough meat for a, another course of meals, and that does convince to me to, uh, to butcher one of the uh, dromedaries right away. So, Ash wants to rest. Not quite, my old chap. Not quite. He is quite weary, but uh, there's still a dromedary to pull. You know, life's hard out here in the desert. Okay. But so far, well... We are making our way through this uh, somehow. So, avoid provocation. Build a psychic ritual spot and perform psychic rituals. Yeah, what should co po probably go wrong? So, here is where I disagree. And the easiest way to stop them from doing foolish stuff is to forbid the corpses. I mean, soon we'll have re refrigeration going, so this oil won't be mattering anymore, but soon, but not yet. So, I need to think about something Gentry can do in the, in the meantime. What could he build? Well, I know what we're going to go for. Do we have enough stone blocks? Sheesh, not quite. Marble blocks. So, can I deconstruct anything in the vicinity? Yeah, perfect. So, we're going to make it as follows. First up, we're going to claim the shack, and then we're going to deconstruct it afterwards. That should grind up some uh, some construction XP eventually. Okay. So far, so good. I bet that something deadly will happen soon. Oh, this place has unroofed spots. So if you see a tiny rectangle like this one here, it ain't a graphical bug, it is your uh, roof needing uh, an extra column because the room is too big for for without wow that's been a few botches so psycho can munch on some iguana yum yum so I think she might be eating the whole iguana. <coughs> yeah. 40, uh, th there's still 45% of the iguana left. Good girl. I'm growing weirdly attached to my ghoul friend. Okay. So, Gentry is uh, casually doing some cloud watching, but here we have him full on in action again. And if all of that doesn't suffice, I'm going to let him build a chess table out of marble. That will keep him busy for a pretty darn long time. Also, deconstructing this place will also keep him busy. 
So, yeah. The things you got to do to learn constructing if you suck at it early on. It's not the first time that I do this. Day 13 is uh, drawing closer on us. Gentry is uh, getting closer to his last 1000 XP needed. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, pretty good news for me. Psycho finished the iguana. Her iguana tastic meal. Okay. We almost have void provocation fully researched. So, uh, uh, forget what I said. So, psychophagy. Perform a psychic ritual which deadens a target's psychic sensitivity and temporarily boosts the ritual invoker's psychic sensitivity. The target will suffer brain damage as a side effect if that's it. Skip abduction. Perform a psychic ritual that abducts a random hostile person from anywhere in the world, putting them in a short-term coma for capture. Whoa. <laughs> That's evil. Draw animals. Perform a psychic ritual which draw a herd of animals. Okay. Void sculptures. Requires bioferrite harvesting. Craft special void sculptures from Biofarite to enhance the quality of psychic rituals. I think we want to go for entity containment next, so I can build these things. I mean, there is nothing wrong with setting up a base camp, and giving the given our our random start here. I think well. Working it out like I do until Gentry is finally at Construction 4 is probably the safest bet to go. So, yeah. Visitors! The Caneva Covenant. Alright. Howdy, partners. So, day 13 breaks and Gentry keeps repairing the ruins. A strange obsessive behavior is uh, on him. And the, the weirdest part will be when he's done repairing it, he's going to rip it all down. But well. At least I don't have to uh, attack the walls myself. Iguana meat rotted away. No. The dromedary is also spoiling soon, so. Have it, boy, it goes bad. Okay. So the dromedary will uh, go bad soon as well one at least so we'll have to go when the night breaks I'd say this is a quite stressful situation no refrigeration available is really annoying no refrigeration also in addition with no technologies to make that situation any way, in any way more tolerable is really, really bumming me out a wee bit, but, uh, well, I enjoy my challenge. Don't you get me wrong. So, there's only one dromedary and one emu back on the map. And, well, I got a feeling in my guts that we're going to get attacked soon again. Oh, 
Oh dear. So currently we're uh, roughly grinding out 500 XP per day. So that means tomorrow there's a fair chance that we are going to reach construction level 4. That will be a pretty great day. Because that'll mean that we finally can get ourselves refrigeration and a lot of other goodness going. So yeah, Gentry is uh, certainly losing it. He now is wearing a weird wooden mask that the uh, natives have left the other day. This is getting troublesome. So I think uh, the last dromedary we're going to hunt it as a joint effort with Psycho and uh, Gentry next day. Gentry surely will love some shooting training. If, uh, if necessary, that is. Okay. More simple meals in the making. This man ain't no fantastic cook, but it's keeping the people mo uh, moving. Speaking about moving, the dromedary is right next to uh, Gentry where he's working at, so... We're uh, good to go here. I need to take close care of Psycho because uh, she will actually die if uh, if she loses all of her HP. So I'd say this is enough. Let's put it down. You fought well, Psycho. I think she was on the brink of dying or going down. I think dying is actually the right term. And I, uh, I like her too much for that. So, Ash, come on. There's work to be done. The, the ghoul has to heal. Yeah, ghouls are amazing, not gonna lie. They are everything I wished zombies to be in Rimworld of Magic. That's uh, pretty much summing it up for me. And she's now healing it up like that. Boom. Sweet. Nice. So... No, my friend. We're, uh, we're not butchering this yet. Gentry is getting ahead of himself again. We try to conserve the body as long as possible. It's quite an odd situation for me to find myself in. To um, research tree sowing that early on. But uh, seeing the situation as it is... A steady supply of timber sounds amazing in that current situation. Luckily, the first potatoes will uh, come in to rescue soon. So, technically, we can already harvest them. Practically, we won't. So, that stuff spoils in a day or so. So I think uh, Psycho will stand no chance against the emu. Emus are giant, ill-tempered bird monsters. Yep, that's what they are. So, construction... Yeah, it'll take just yet another day. It's fine, I guess. Patience is important. So far, so fun. How did Ash's uh, intellectual skill develop so far? I mean, it is a pain that we currently still have no lighting available. Or no proper bedrooms. Well, there's a lot of things that we're going to work on. So Gentry will surely have more than enough capability to hone his construction skills even further. 
So. Yeah, we're, uh, we're uh, in a pretty good uh, situation here. The only thing that's bothering me is that there's only emu and ostrich on the map left. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm somewhat scared. Because these guys, they, uh, they, they really spill bad news. I mean, Psycho went from melee 0 to melee 3 by now, so... My training regimen seems to pay off. But, yeah, it still feels... I feel uncomfortable with the situation. But at least I think I can now build an enclosure with wind turbines and get the whole power business started. So, here we go. Construction level 4. Excellent. So now let's think about where we will put down power generation. I mean, the bulk of the base's territory is uh, right dead on in the center of the map. There is a lot of soft sand that uh, does bother me here. Shown in orange here. But, well... For starters, I'm going to set up a pair of wind turbines here. And then we're going to be constructing ourselves. Yeah, I also take marble walls. I don't give a damn. And that'll be our battery housing spot. So, power, regular power conduit goes there, okay, oh. hey Dave, I don't have any mods activated except for things. Or am I misunderstanding something? I have two quality of life mods here enabled. Or are you referring to something that I misunderstood? So let's let the ghoul feast. Well, I think the ostrich would be the more sane. An involuntary hermit. So, why did your people kick you out, huh? Tell me. What did you do? Did you do something naughty? Well, getting myself refrigeration is also going to help me out in... ...feeding my ghoul. So we're going to start building the refrigeration unit here. Ah, that's what you're talking about. Yeah, the only DLC that I'm currently not really utilizing in this run is uh, Ideology. I left that off to focus more into the Anomaly content. And I'll leave the Ideology things to the next few runs when I know better what I'm doing. This might be a lot of fun to start building an Ideology around the crazy things happening here. And she finished the whole dromedary before anything went bad. Interactions will be odd? Yeah, probably. Probably so, yeah. So, hidden conduits are already in place here. So, we gotta be building these here as well. And wire it up over here so we can finally have our lighting here as well so happy that hidden conduit has become vanilla this has been one of the best pieces of news in my life of room with the world, however you want to put it. Then we're going to need the 
coolers. Here, that is where I'm refer falling back to modded rim world because uh, life without overwall coolers sucks. Life without the replace stuff mod sucks. I can't uh, put it down differently. Very sorry, I'm biased in that regard. Okay. Good. As soon as a roof is on top of it, we can build the battery. So, dromedary will be good for 14 more hours, and then we need to... Transport pod crash. It appears to be Nelly, a previous member of your crew. The ghoul is currently in shock. So, it can be hauled to a uh, security... So we capture it, Ash. We're gonna be uh, sending Gentry too, though. I'm too worried that this thing might break free and uh, have an issue. Go! Containment strength, 68. So... We can do studying now. I mean, at the end of the day, this is much safer than letting this thing just lie around there, where it grows hungry, and eventually kills somebody. For reals. So, Psycho, my girl, have some dromedary. And since it's going to spoil in a couple of hours, I'm uh, going to leave it open for butchering now. As the job is open, Gentry picks it up quite quickly. I knew I could rely on you. So, is there another unroofed area here? Shoot. That is... One, two huge Laura's storage still. Storage building. Damn. Fine. My English is not Englishing so well anymore. Must be the, the time of the day. So luckily, the new herd of dromedaries has appeared, so we can train our ghoul even further. Huzzah! <gasps> Look at that! I haven't even seen these Bragos. So these will yield a little bit more timber. Nice. Very very helpful. So, as it seems, this stream does survive the first uh, encounter with Anomaly. Wriggle. Wriggle, wriggle, wriggle. Study, release, execute. Ooh, how useful. Escape interval. 3.3 years. So, yeah, we, we seem to have a few days left to do our experimentations here. So happy that uh, today is uh, has a high likelihood that our friends here will have some electric light to see how crappy the room looks they are living in. Okay, so self sustainability seems to be secured in so far as we have now. Um, also, a lot of dromedaries available that we can still butcher. So... Okay, Ash. 
you to you. So studying these creatures yields anomaly research points. Entity containment, how fitting. Good night, Ash. I'm not going to stay that much longer myself either. I was that close of saying, ah, I'm going to go to bed now too. So, see you all tomorrow. I'll be, uh, I'll, I'll be streaming tomorrow here as well. But I, I'm staying a little bit longer. I'm not, I'm not yet gone. So, let's see. Ash, you have to go mining. You are, you are the man with the uh, hands for the mining. Go for it, my man. No passion for it. Raid. The gas slickers are upon us one more time. Flow. The contract miner. So this time we're uh, we're not going to take any second guesses. This time we're gonna go all in on this dude. So let's see. Melee one. Delicate. Hell yeah, that's a very, very uh, helpful coincidence. Let's uh, put the man with a shotgun up front. Let's try to send the ghoul in first. There we go, and Gentry follows up. For a close up shotgun. Fun. Let's uh, set up Ash right next to that, and uh, yeah. The rest is just uh, Psycho doing her thing. Here we see the uh, Rimworld 1.5 crawling mechanic in action as Flo tries to escape the attacks of this evil and nasty wicked creature that will now well do what ghouls do goof hi there happy to see you dumb so yeah that harbinger tree creates corpse stockpile so it is a very specific stockpile because I don't want animal corpses I only want corpses like these okay beats the ghoul I don't mind potatoes are soon ready so well we'll have to kill something to keep the the ghoul happy. But well there is always some sort of an unnecessary evil. I really love them ghouls. Much better than I anticipated. I was at first very concerned that they would be annoying or anything, but no. It's just the uh, the a better a better version of a zombie and that feels darn cool so come on nibble at him as long as it still is a possibility yum oh yeah we have to put this on a important priority so i really want to try out what uh, happens if you do this Bing. Consuming flesh. Look at it go. Nibble, nibble, nibble. Well, digested. So it turns out that this seems to be a more or less a uh, long termish thing. And let's see, Gentry is harvesting some saguaro. Yeah, I'll let him.
Don't you dare to. Good boy. Don't like it when they do it uh, like that. Yeah, well, it's all quite a uh, tough beginning, all in all, but... Uh, They gifted us a gas mask, and look at this. So, it's a very interesting question. Does this uh, thing digest? Yes, it does. It does digest long-term dead. Now I'm interested. Okay, okay, so... Uh, look at that. A flock of dromedaries. So, yeah. So, which one do you think looks tasty, Psycho? This one? So, yeah, she's, uh... She's getting better at it. The, the dromedary would actually already die, 100% sure, by the, uh injuries of the ghoul. So I think this is enough. Don't want to risk the her unlife here. There we go. Huge amount of wood. I just realized that uh, there is a caveat behind my plans. Power generation, yes. Refrigeration? No. Gentry can't build uh, coolers yet. That's where you need the Construction 5 for. Hmm. I knew that uh, Construction 5 was necessary for something important, but oh well, it is what it is, I'd say. Alright. But, uh... Civilization, light, come on, this is, uh, this is amazing. Let's uh, give those uh, guys here some extra lights as well. And last but not least, if possible, if possible, yes. Let's replace that with an electric stove, but damn, finally, light. So I'll uh, I'll I'll leave it with uh, with that. So Ross Pascal, hi there. I I will take a break for for the time being. So I thank everybody being around. This stream will be continued as soon as I can. I think sometime tomorrow, maybe most likely, because I am all eager to play more Anomaly. But uh, right now, it's in the middle of the night. It's uh, 1.30 a.m. or 1.30 in the night, however you want to, whatever time model you use. So, thanks everybody.